Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at that S14. A lot of you guys still use the OG V8 powered S14, which was actually just featured in Slap Train's Top 10 Drifts by Yami. So, we are sitting in the parking lot of the Evil Rabbit Drift Playground. We're here with Hexer himself. We're going to be getting some... Uh, words from Hexer and talking about the map and some of the tweaks. The map is almost completely done and ready to be out. So we're going to go over some of the new stuff from the map and get some stuff from Hexer himself. But before we do that, I want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, The Coldest Water, here on the channel. So I would like to thank The Coldest Water for sponsoring today's video. The Coldest Water, 36 plus hours of cold and 13 plus hours of warm in various sizes. You know, we all know when you're getting lost in the sauce, tandeming with your friends and or in an endurance series race, hydration is a key when you're either gaming and or in the real world. So, you know, for me, I have right next to me my Tactical Black. 21 ounce coldest water bottle filled up for me so when I need to keep hydrated when I'm tandeming with my friends or in a video game session that's what I reach for so it's definitely great to have it cold and one of their big key things about it is the zero sweat so with next to my Fanatec system I don't want anything sweating onto my rig or onto my PC or anything in my components so it's definitely great to have that anti-sweat technology so make sure you guys Tap the links down below if you want to get your own bottle and make sure when you guys go to check out, you use that coupon code and promo code EVL10 to get 10% off your order of anything you order on the source, 10% off your entire order. That's EVL10. It's definitely an amazing thing. And once again, I'd like to thank the Coles Water for sponsoring this video and the channel. You know, it's just a great you know thing to have an insulated bottle and you know they come in various sizes all the way up to a giant gallon i mean i don't think i can put a gallon thing by my rig but i might but you know dog bowls to keep the dog water cold definitely you know it's amazing to have something like that on the ready and you know the coldest water bottle definitely is backed by thousands and thousands of five stars reviews on amazon so make sure you guys check it out make sure you get all the links down at the bottom all the links for everything and make sure you use that promo code EVL10 for 10% off all your order. So let's get back to the video. So like I said, we are here joined by Hexer, the man with this dream I had and this vision, making it a reality. What's up, dude? Welcome to the channel. And you know, like I said, I, I still can't fathom how you do this. So what's up and let's do it, right? Yeah, hello, what's up guys, um, yeah, that is the uh, final version, and um, uh, some changes on the track, and um, yeah, we can go so, straight to the first uh, area, it's uh, 850 meters, and um, to the first area, and um, let's see. So the good thing, having these little signs up here to tell you which way you're going, because on a massive track like this, knowing where you're going is definitely going to be a big thing. So having those up there, it's definitely very cool and something that a lot of people were saying that they should probably have. I'm not going to drift as much because I have a feeling I'm going to blow tires, so we don't want to blow our tires too much. So you guys have seen this part of the road. There's you know, some tweaks and things up top that I'm sure, you know, Hexer is going to chime in on because... You know, this is like the true drifter's paradise, and you go through grass, and it's that's is the grass flattened? How did you make the grass flatten? Like, it's little things like that that is like intriguing to me to be like, I can flatten the grass, which is gonna make Drift Snacks very happy because you know, he lawn mows grass, and that's just his biggest job, so you can just like mow the grass down, you know, be happy with that. So, we are heading up to the first section which you guys caught a glimpse of it but now uh it looks a whole lot different doesn't it holy crap yeah uh we see that drag it's uh so you, you draw me and uh, yeah and we move i give him more camber 
Oh yeah, you did. That there's definitely a little more camber on this on this turn. I didn't even notice that. Wow, that's awesome. Oh yeah, I got a chance to tandem this track with a couple of my buddies, just testing it out. And uh, this track is awesome for street cars and uh, 800 some horsepower cars like this uh, 14 and you know the you know the hexer mods with the evil rabbit banners and all the fine details with that you've put into this with you know the walls and the you know the tire grooves and you know i feel like i feel like this needs to be you have it up here i feel like this needs to be a track that you actually do in hdc it's right here i feel like we should uh do a little hdc tandem cop i mean on this track i don't know <laughs> i don't know if that's something you'd be interested in but you got it up there <laughs> So definitely a fun course it looks a totally lot different than what you guys saw last time so now we're moving on right yes okay i mean the the, the sheer fun of you know just these roads to get to these tracks though is is awesome the way you've you didn't make it just point a to point b you made it like a drifter's paradise like you can just cruise these roads or you can drift these roads to get from point a to point b and that makes it more fun to go from layout to layout because it's not just like all right well i'm gonna drive straight to go to this layout or i'm gonna drive through this tunnel to go to this layout it's like i gotta go to this layout but in order to get to this layout i'm just gonna go sideways and i'm just gonna have fun because these roads are just meant to be to be drifted they're not really meant to be driven straight i mean they're meant to be drifted you could do a grip run you could run a grip car maybe an all-wheel drive you know subaru or an evo and you know try and do it like a grip style run but these roads are truly meant to be drifted yeah, don't exactly. look down away from your screen because you will hit a fence <laughs> see even i'm not perfect it happens see this this fence can this fence can we go through this fence yeah, no, you cannot. Safe. All right, good. That's going to be safe. Nobody's going to yeet it off. You can't die on this point, man. <laughs> that would be bad. You would yeet yourself off and, and, and die. So I can see the skid pad up here. You got a nice windy road. So what's the total What's the total size of the, all the roads? Did you say it was like 18 or 20 kilometers? Uh, 80 kilometers. Jeez. That's, that's, just, that's insane. It's like 15 miles worth of road. Yeah. It's a lot of driving. So we have the top of the mountain, which, you know, is the original skid pad, which is a fun little skid pad, fun little flow track. All of car travels on low power. You can you can drive your device to break in the game. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, I'm doing this in like an 800 horsepower car, but this would be sweet with, you know, some 300 horsepowers or some new beginning horsepowers. You got a nice cruise road up and all the details like the glowing NRG logos and the Hexer yeah. logos and the evil, like this one, this, this one right here. Did not expect to see this one and it's still beyond me that this is, this is becoming a reality, Th that there's a playground that yeah. was this mindset that I had and you've made s something in my mind become a reality and I kind of I think when we first started talking about this I think I told you this is my idea and kind of let you run with it and this is what you've come up with yeah and it's 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 insane so now we get to a new road that nobody yeah. has seen yet and it looks like it's a nice little like flowy uh SE downhill section because I can see another skid pad down there. I can yeah, see it. In the pools, and, um, it's going to the next uh, and, um, yeah, can this way up or way down. It's um, it's feel good. Oh yeah, you know the, to to have SE roads back and forth, downhills and uphills is you know amazing and the fact that you have it in between all of these roads makes it not boring going from track to track yeah now 
this is a much bigger skid pad. <laughs> this is definitely a much bigger skid pad. And, uh, okay, so we can't enter that way. So we're going to flip it around. And we're going to hit this skid pad up. It's so wide. It's going to begin us of a build for many, many, uh, I've done them, brand or build. You know, sometimes a wide skid pad's great. I mean, this could be used by beginners. It can be used by, you know, intermediates and experts. You can, you know, throw down some huge drift trains and things of that nature with some very skilled friends. Or you can come on here and just uh, kind of get a feel for the cars or everything yourself. It's a great learning track. It's wide enough to where you can, you know, correct yourself if you have an issue, but it's also technical enough to learn transitions and learn you know throttle control and like left foot braking like being able to step it out to a cone like that or you know let's say ride these cones and then we're going to flick it around here and we're going to come out and we're going to try and ride this outer cone wall with left foot brake okay we would have taken them all out but hey i'm no expert i'm just you know just some guy with a wheel <laughs> And I think the coolest thing, you know, for, say, the skid pad here, it's not a far drive from the pits. We're, we're pretty close to the beginning of the pit section, so you don't have to drive, like, a bunch of miles to get to where you want to go. If you just want to go to the skid pad, you can just go... Is those both light up? I just realized there's an Evil Rabbit Drift Team logo all the way up on the top skid pad. Yes. <laughs> I see that now. I love that, that graffiti style work on the mountains. And, you know, Evil Rabbit Drift Team is definitely something at the beginning of the year that I came hard on. And I wanted to build my own team, and I wanted to do that. And, you know, joining HTC, you know, from Snacks told me to join, it was a huge thing for me. You know, competing in rounds one through three, you know, you put on an amazing rounds. And, you know, to be able for me to take a podium in each one of those rounds and come out, you know, in one of the top spots is, was definitely fun for me. I can't wait for, you know, the next rounds because uh, the hype's real with that. And, you know, now this. This is another big installment of everything I have coming on this year. You know, more car packs are coming. You know, the 2.5s. Now this is still mind-boggling to me to see this and have this kind of thing even be somewhat of a reality to me the fact that i'm on track to this is you know crazy to me and you know i can't even can't even put in the thought of how long it would have taken me to do something like this and you you were telling me this only took you what like 15 hours yes yeah, well 15 hours yeah see that's that's insane to me i i can't even i can't even think about 15 hours to build something like this like i wouldn't even know where to start now, there's only, I think I found one glitch out of this entire test session. I think yeah, uh, I, I have to model it. I used to model it before in, in some other tricks, and when you, when you make wrong model time, you can use some cool uh, objects on the map, and, and it's, you can much faster to, uh, to make it beautiful. Yeah, this is, like, I just... For, for sake of for sake of beauty we're gonna actually go because I think you said that lights and everything work too right yes yes because right. I, I have my soul set up so we should be able to flip this to nighttime should oh that's so cool to see I yep and like this is just this massive playground and you have you know, this. you guys saw this track before with that really awesome downhill corkscrew, a really nice flow track, and then you have mountain roads and just, you know, new tracks and more tracks and just, th there's so much road. There's so much to do here. It's just, it, it, it never ends. And what I what we're going to do is we're going to pull up Soul Weather. I think we're going to yeah. click negative. Oh, yeah. We got to get closer. We got to get down. But you can see there... That's really bright. <laughs> that is sweet. The fact that like that lights up and you have all these beautiful like lighting and color changes and everything. It's just 
you know, the pictures that are going to be had with this are insane. There's a couple more tracks we're going to go drive, but, like, I wanted to look at this. Like, this is legit. Oh, well, when you come out of clouds. Oh, no, I'm in trees. Oops. I'm in the tree. I can't see. I'm in trees. Where am I? Oh, I'm in, oh, I'm in the mountain. Hey, don't go in the mountain. Where am I? Am I the wrong one? Go back to car, then you see. Where did I go? <laughs> it, it's a, a CPS range. Is this when you when you go too far from your car? It's a, um, ah go. okay. I get it now. But that's just so beautiful. Like yeah. the pictures that will be taken is insane, and like all the lighting and everything, and all those little light sticks and everything make this so cool and it's just oh wow it's dark so we're gonna go take a couple more look at a couple more tracks but we're gonna make this light time again because we we need to see daytime